I'm Bob Harris of Decorative Concrete Institute. Welcome to Duraman's training and educational series for industrial and decorative flooring systems. We're getting okay, on our Param SSL uh, application, just to recap over the vinyl tile, we did put uh, two coats of CP1000 bonding primer down, and now it's time to start mixing the actual powder. So in our uh, mixing bucket, and on that note, these mixing buckets, it's not a bad idea if you can remember to try to get metal buckets. Uh, sometimes when you're using a paddle like we have, which is a mortar style mixing paddle, if you use a plastic bucket, it'll tend to shred the bucket the ins on the inside. And when we're out there trying to get a smooth trowel down, you got little shards of uh, plastic. So you don't have that issue with metal buckets. Uh, the mix ratio is 4.6 liters of water to one full bag of the Param S uh, SL. So as an option, what we're going to do is we're going to tint this product. We're going to be using a product called Color Fast, and we're going to be using chamois is the color. And um, get with Duraman in terms of the tint loads. Um, in this case, we're simply going to use a half a cup of chamois to um, one unit or one bag of material, just to change the color from the stark white to a real light beige. So we'll put it in here, we're going to just spin the drill, and all we're doing is coloring the water. Um, like we always talk about, anytime you're working with a cement based product, safety is not a game. So at a minimum, protect yourself, dust masks, non-absorbent gloves, safety glasses when working with cement based products. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start mixing our color, and then we'll get busy uh, with the dry powder. On our 4.6 liters, we intentionally held off some of the mixed water. Uh, remember, you can't take water out of an overwatered mix. You can always add to it. So just from experience, I'm looking at this mix, and I can see that we do need uh, the, the water that we held back. So we're going to go ahead and put it in there and get that mixing. When you're working with cement based products like we are here, it's not a bad idea to uh, incorporate what's called an induction period. And what an induction period means is go ahead and get it very close to the consistency that you uh, want on the final installation and then let it sit for two minutes. And what happens is that this will fully saturate the cement grains and the cement particles by allowing it to set for two minutes, then go ahead and temper if needed, and then hit it with a drill. And what it does is it'll give you the actual mixing consistency and um, additional working time just by letting it set for two minutes to absorb. It's kind of like a sponge. Think of the cement grains or the particles as a sponge and that it absorbs the liquid. So let it sit for a couple minutes, re-temper it, re-hit it, and you get a little bit of extended working time. Okay. We're getting ready for our installation of Param SSL. Um, just a couple things. I did, this was brand new spike shoes, so I took a, um, a metal grinding disc and I, I ground off the, the sharp tips because I don't want to puncture through the CP1000 or the vinyl tile. So we're going to go ahead and just pour a ribbon. And as some coloring alternatives, I'd like to show you um, how easy, we'll just pour a ribbon right across there. I'm taking the same color fast product that we used in the mix, and I'm going to broadcast it just randomly right in to the wet ribbon as an alternative.
And then I'm going to use our turbo roller to blend the color. So all I'm doing is blending the color. So the key is, at first, I'm using this turbo roller almost as a squeegee just to get it down quickly. Covering all the surface. Then once I get it down, I'm doing my final elevation by re-rolling this way. I'll blend this. And we could pour another ribbon out. Now normally on an actual project, right about now I'd have a second person on the spike knee boards starting the trial just to smooth it out. I'll go like this. I'm gonna hand, I'm gonna let you do the rolling because I'll get on the knee boards real quick. Get some color in here. I think you can uh, probably roll that without your spike shoes, right? Yep. Okay. So to, the key to a system like this is to get it down quick on this first application here. So a common mistake I see workers make that are not accustomed to this type of product is using the half arc troweling motion. So the, the, the banana or the, the moon shape. So what you wanna get in the routine of doing is have overlapping random trowel patterns. Like this, for example. And by doing that, it gives it a lot more of an organic uh, feel. You could leave that as is, or one of the unique features about this product is you can second trial it. So once we've got it leveled down in there like that, um, we'll wait for about 70% of the surface moisture to bleed off. And when we see roughly 25 to 30% remaining wet patches, 
we'll get back out on the surface with a the trial again and we'll second trial it. As an option, if you choose to, uh, you can come back in second trial, and that's what we're doing right now. It needs to set up where there's not a lot of surface moisture, and you do need to apply a lot of pressure, but that's what I'm doing in second trial.